He says, this was a few days ago, and I texted her yesterday, just basically trying to start up a conversation, but she never responded. And so he says later on, the conversation he tried to start, I guess when he gave, when she gave him uh, his, her number, uh, the text was a joke about her number that she put in my phone at the time. And she said jokingly that it wasn't real. And then so he texted her saying the follow-up text on that Sunday, 12 hours later, mind you, he said, oh man, sure wish this number was real. The girl I met last night was really cool. Now he's thinking that's just a little jokey text. It's referencing something we talked about last night and it's no big deal. But guys, and I've talked about this on the show too, is that women ultimately don't want bullcrap texts. They don't want you to just send them texts just to be texting or to try to start a conversation with them. Like, I know it sounds like a thing that women want you to do, and women may have expressed to you in the past, well, if a guy doesn't text me, blah, 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 blah. But what they're talking about are men that they're already in relationships with. If you're in a relationship with a woman, then yes, you want to occasionally send a text to say, hey, babe, how your day going, yada, yada, yada. But during the dating phase, that is not necessary. During the dating phase, the only reason that you text a woman specifically is to get that date. That's it. That's all you're using it for. You do not, let me say this again, you do not frivolously text a woman just to have a random conversation. The women that I've talked to typically get annoyed by that from the guys that they're that are trying to show interest because they're working, they have other things going on. And then what happens is most men will text these women and they don't have the means to get to their phone or respond back right away. And then they start sending these follow-up texts. Why aren't you texting back? Is everything okay? Are you mad at me? What's going on? And now they're painting themselves as a guy that went from being the confident guy that they met up with initially to this worrisome, needy guy that is no longer attractive to them. All right? So save your text for if you're going to text them, the thing you should be texting them is like, hey, so let's set up for Tuesday. Hey, great date, great date idea. Let's do this, this, and that. That's the only reason you should be texting them. You ain't got to try to build up extra rapport with a woman that's already given you her phone number. Trust me, you don't need to do that. A simple call or text to say, hey, just wanted to touch up to, uh, to figure out that date day, so let's go this day and time. And again, when you make that call and that text, you should already have all the details because women do not want to plan dates. They don't. So when you call her up or text her again, you set up the, you say, call her or text her saying, hey, I've already got a restaurant. Uh, this, you said Thursday works. Let's do Thursday. Does uh, Let me know if seven or five works for you, whichever works best. That's it. You make all those plans, okay? But yeah, this texting, just the text, stop that, guys, okay? It's not necessary. This episode is brought to you by the Introvert Dating Success Membership Academy, opening on November 1st. Join the wait list and get your free PDF, the Girlfriend Roadmap Checklist, at introvertdatingsuccess.com. Thanks for listening to the Introvert Dating Success Podcast. Visit us at introvertdatingsuccess.com for more great tips on attracting women using your natural introvert charm. Oh, yeah.